In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a responsive navbar using HTML and CSS. So here you can see we have a navbar here and this is totally responsive. And if we now click on this bar, it will open like this. And I'm going to show you how you can make this step by step from the very beginning. So let's get started. So we'll go back to our code and here you can see we have simple HTML structure. And here, first of all, in the body, we're going to say nav. Then in this nav, we're going to have a level. Let's say level will be my website. This will be the logo. After that, we're going to mention a UL tag. And in this UL tag, we're going to have an LI tag. Then inside this LI, we're going to have an anchor tag like this. So in the href, let's give hash and there we'll set home. So after this, I'm going to copy this li and I will paste it here. So this one will be called, let's say product. After that, let's have one more and this one will call about us. And this will be the last one. We'll call this contact. So right now, if we just set this, there you can see we have the level and we have the ul li here so first of all let's go and add a background color for the name file so for it what we are going to do is that let me just create a style.css file here so i just right click then click on new file let's say here style.css control s then save so first of all we need to connect our index.html with this style.css so for it we are going to set here link and here in this href, let me just make it bigger. In this href, we'll say here style.css. So right now we are connected to this style.css. So first of all, we are going to give a star here. Then we we'll give to second bracket, we'll say here margin, it will be zero. Just notice here, there you can see it changed here then we we'll say here padding it will be zero and there you can see there is some decoration so we're going to send here text decoration it will be none so there you can see the underline will be gone if we now save there you can see the underline is gone let's also say here list style it will be none as well so after this we are going to uh, write some css for this nav tag there you can see nav tag so we'll go to our style.css and here we're going to say nav then to second bracket we're going to add a background color let's say background color will be dark blue if we now save it there you can see so let's give a height for this background color so let's say here height it will be 80 px and there you can see height decrease a little bit so after this, let's go and style our logo, which is this one. So here you can see, I say it here, label my website. So we're going to say here class, it will be logo. Then we'll go to our style.css. We'll say here dot logo. So we're going to say here color, it will be white. And there you can see color is white. Let's also say here font size it will be 27px and font weight it will be core there you can see so let's have it in the center so for it here you can see we mentioned here height 80px so we are going to say here line height it will be 80px which is basically same to this one save it there you can see it is in the center so let's add some margin at the left side so we are going to say here margin left let's say 60 px there you go so right now let's have this on the right side so for it uh here you can see uh, our ul tag is inside the nav tag so we are going to say here nav then we'll mention the ul tag then to second bracket and we want this to be on the right side so we are going to say here float it will be right if we now save it there you can see those are on the right side so let's just add some margin right here so let's say here margin right it will be 60px and there you can see there is some space right now 
so we want those to be shown in a single line so for it we are going to say here nav then ul then li here you can see our li tag is inside the ul tag and ul tag is inside the nav tag that's why we write nav ul li so here we are going to set display it will be inline block if we now save it then you can see those are showing in a single line so if i just make it bigger like this then you can see that text here so let's have it in the center so for it what we need to do is we are going to say here line height 80 px which we just mentioned here height will be 80 bits for the background color if we now save it and if we just make it bigger there you can see it is here and i made a spelling mistake for contact and let's also just uh, change the color for the text as well so we are going to say here uh, let me just fix the contact spelling first contact and we are going to change the color so we are going to say here nav ul li let's say for now the color will be text color will be black let's say here black after that we are going to say here font weight it will be 4 let's also mention font size it will be 16 px and if we just make it bigger like this there you can see my website and text is over here like this Okay, let's just uh, remove the board from here. Let's save. And let's just add a padding here. Let's say padding will be 10 pixels. So right now we have a logo here and we have our menu option here. So let's do only thing. That is when we cover our cursor over here, the color will change. So let's just say anchor tag. Then let's say here hover into second bracket. We are going to change the background color to black. And the text color it will be white. If we now save it and if we take our cursor here, there you can see it will look like this. So right now what we all is that when our skin size is smaller, then we want to have a option here that if we click on that option it will show us the menu in a column way so after a certain height and width those options will disappear and we'll have a button here to click for us so for it we need to search over here font awesome cdn link and press enter then go to this link cdnjs.com and here you can see this is the font of some serial link so just click on this middle icon the first one just click on this middle one then go back to your code and we'll go to our index.html and in the head section inside the head we are going to paste the serial link after that we'll go inside our uh, nav section so here you can see we have the nav tag so inside the nav tag we are going to say here input type it will be checkbox and we are going to add a id for this input type so let's say id will be check if we now save it there you can see we have a checkbox here so right now we are going to mention a level and in this level we are going to say here for and the for will be this one check so we'll paste this id check here so inside the level we're going to mention an i tag and for this i tag we're going to mention a font awesome class so the class name is fa fa uh, dash bars if we now save this there you can see we have a font awesome icon here and since we use for equal to check and which is this one so if we now click on this bar it will be checked automatically there you can see so right now what we'll do is that first of all we are going to have this bar on the right side so for it what we are going to do is first of all let me just say here class it will be check ptn change pattern so we are going to write some css for this so let's go to our style.css and here we are going to set dot check pattern then to second bracket let me just show you the browser here so 
here we are going to say float it will be right if we now save it there you can see the bar is on the right side and if we click on it it gets checked there you can see it will get checked so let's say here font size it will be 30 px and color will be white there you can see it got bigger so let's say here again line height it will be 80 px and let's also say here margin right it will be 60 px and there you go if you click on it it will get checked again so first of all uh, at a certain width our this button will be hidden or this bar will be hidden so for it we are going to say here display it will be none and there you go our bar is hidden right now so after this let's also make this checkbox hidden as well and here you can see input type checkbox and id called to check and since this is a id we can just say here hash then mention the id name to second bracket we'll just say here display it will be none and there you can see this go so we'll only display those bar when our website width is certain length so for it we are going to send here at the rate of media to first bracket max width let's say it will be 850p then to second bracket so let me just explain this if i just inspect this just right click then click on inspect and we can just make this smaller like this let's say so after 850 px we want to show that bar so for it we said here max we do will be 850 px so here we are going to uh, mention this check button so let me just copy this and paste it here then do second bracket like this so let's go back let me make it smaller so here we are going to say display Block. so right now we want to show the chain button when the max width is less than this one if we now save this then you can see it is showing here and after a certain width it will disappear there you can see so right now what we want is that when this bar shows those will be disappear it will not show and it will show in a different way basically when we click on this so right now we are going to write some CSS for this event tag. So we are going to say here inside the media UL then to second bracket we are going to say position it will be fixed then width it will be 100% and height it will be 100 he age. If you now save it it will come over here and right now let's add a background let's say background will be sky blue. So let's just add some space at the top. So we are going to say here top it will be 80 px. Let's say here left it will be 0 px. And let's have it in the center all the text. So we'll say here text align it will be center. There you can see it is in the center. Since we want to show those in a different lines. So we are going to say here nav then ul li then to second bracket we are going to say here display it will be block and there you can see so let me just make this bigger here and let me just click on inspect and make it smaller and there you can see it is showing us the option but the thing is when you click on this bar menu bar only then it will show us this option so how can we do it so in order to do this what we need to do is we need to go to our code here there you can see evil deck so inside this evil deck we are going to say here left it will be minus 100 percent so what this will do is that after a certain width those options will not show if i just click on inspect and if we now make it smaller there you can see those option is not showing so we'll only show those option when we click on this menu bar so for it we are going to say here hash 
check uh, which is basically this one uh, here you can see id equal to check so we are mentioning this here dash check clone check then we'll keep this sign then we we'll say here ul then to second bracket so the thing is uh, whenever we click on this menu bar this uh, thing gets check right this input field gets checked so we are checking if someone click on this menu bar if yes then the left will be in zero VA. let me save it refresh here and right now if we click on this menu bar there you can see it is showing if we click on again it gets disappear and let me just keep the text color to be white here let's say text color will be white and let me do one more thing that is let's say here body let's say here font family it will be monospace save it and there you go so there you can see uh, we have the logo here we have the menu option here and if we just make it smaller after 850 it will show us the menu option and if we click on it it will show us those menu and if we click on again it will get disappeared so this is how you can make a simple responsive navbar using html and css i hope this was easy for you to follow if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials